Hello guys and gals, and welcome. No, I'm not naked, I'm just wearing a really low level set. Uh, this is the Arctic set. Uh, the Arctic set is really kind of pointed around cold resistance. Um, it really gives you quite a large amount of cold resistance. And um, we're going to see what uh, what's going on with this particular set. So um, it's a relatively low level set at level 2. And honestly, you can literally put this whole set on at level 2 with the exception of the, uh, the bow and the gauntlets. Um, the gauntlets can be put on relatively quickly after level 2 if you've got the right equipment. Uh, but the, uh, the bow is 55 dex, 35 strength, which makes it relatively hard to put on at level 2. Uh, unless you've got a bunch of charms in your inventory. Uh, but right off the bat, let's take a look at this set and uh, let's get an idea of what this set could be good for, uh, what it might upgrade to, and um, whether or not we should even bother. Uh, so right off the bat, um, we've got the bow, which is the Arctic Horn Short War Bow. And I see this thing drop literally all the time. I feel like it, I, I feel like it actually does drop literally all the time. And um, there's really not much more to say other than that, that, that literally like everywhere you go, it feels like this item is dropping um, on a regular basis. And, uh, and we have some interesting stats. So we've got 55 dexterity, 35 strength, level 2. Uh, level 2 is really low, but the high dex and the high strength make this relatively hard to put on for just about any character. You have to pretty much neglect all of your vitality, uh, which causes other issues like running out of stamina all the time. Uh, we have 50% enhanced damage on this, which is actually pretty nice for a level 2 bow, and 20% uh, bonus to attack rating, which at level 2 doesn't really give you a whole lot of attack rating, but uh, but it does add up over time. Um, we've got uh, 20 to 30 cold damage on this as a, a green piece bonus. And uh, let, me, let me drop some of my crap on the ground here so I can actually take stuff off. Um, so 160 to attack rating based on character level, and this actually does go all the way up to, um, I believe it's 792 at level 99. So pretty massive attack rating bonus on the Arctic Horn Short Warbow. Um, and then, of course, when we put on two pieces, we get the 20 to 30 cold damage, which is nice. Uh, at level 2, 20 to 30 cold damage is enough to kill literally everything you come across. Uh, we also have Arctic Mitts Light Gauntlets, and the Arctic Mitts Light Gauntlets have a defense of 11, a strength requirement of 45, which is a little bit of an issue at level 2. Uh, we've got 10 strength, 10 increased, 10% increased attack speed, tongue tied, 20 to life, which is a lot of life at level 2, uh, 10 to dexterity, and uh, 50 to attack rating. So at the very least, it might help you put on the bow, uh, which if you have at least two pieces on, you get the 50 to attack rating, and if you have three pieces on, you get the, um, the uh, 10 to dexterity, which is not bad. Uh, we also get um, the Arctic Furs Quilted Armor, which is actually pretty common to find at a low level. And, uh, and this armor is kind of a uh, beast on the defense. Um, it's 111 defense at, uh, at such a low level. And uh, it also has a 325% enhanced defense uh, as well, which does vary from 275 to 325%. I'm not really sure why this armor has such a high defense on it, but, uh, but we're going to play around with that too. Uh, we also have a uh, all resistances 10 on here, which certainly isn't the greatest, but it's nice to have. And then we got green bonuses. So um, the first green bonus that we get with two pieces is defense based on character level, which is 3 to 297. So not only does this armor have a massive 325% ED on it, but it also includes a defense based on character level as well. This armor might make a really good upgrade candidate, and we're going to play around with that. Uh, for three pieces, uh, you get uh, cold resist 15%, uh, which is nice. Uh, this one set is really kind of like geared around cold, obviously. It's the Arctic set, so lots and lots of cold resistance. Uh, we also have Arctic Bindings Light Belt, which is actually a really powerful low-level belt. And, uh, and I often lament the fact that it doesn't have enough potion slots. I will be using it, and I love the fact that it gives me nice cold resistance. I love the defense on it, but it just doesn't really give me enough potion slots. And that's something that we can fix now. So great. So we've got uh, 33 defense. We've got four potion slots, which is awful. 
awful, awful push in slots. Uh, we've got uh, 30 extra defense on here, which is, uh, which is not bad. And 40% uh, cold resistance with an extra 10%, I believe, for two items, I want to say. Oh, no, it's uh, three items for the extra 10% cold resistance. Um, and for two items only, you get a nice 40% bonus to magic find, which is certainly really sweet. So uh, so if you have an Arctic Furs and an Arctic Belt early on, it's a very easy 40% magic find combo. And, of course, you can sock at the armor, throw a Topaz in there at some point if you want to, and bump that up another 24%. Um, we also get uh, a very nice bonuses uh on the armor for two pieces so we get five strength which of course will help us put on those gauntlets when we put on three pieces we get another 50 life which is pretty crazy considering the set already gives you 20. so we've got 50 60 70 life which at a really low level honestly is just a huge amount of life i mean if you look at how much life i have right now i've got a whole 54. and when i put on the uh the gloves i go up to 124 which is literally just a huge bonus over what i had before um, and then for the full bonus, of course, we also get uh, Cannot Be Frozen with uh, 40 maximum cold damage based on character level. Now, this uh, maximum cold damage based on character level does go up as high as... Um, try to remember here. You know, I might have to look this one up. Yeah, here we go. So it's uh, it's... It's two per character level on the uh, maximum cold damage up to 198. Um, so not only do we have the 20, and 20 to 30 on the bow, but we also get another two per character level every level as we level up all the way up to 198, which at level 99, if you were actually <laughs> going to wear Arctics at level 99, would give you, uh, what is that, a total of um, 20 to uh, 228. Yeah, 20 to 228 cold damage which is uh, which is not super amazing but but all in all when you take in this set from uh, a perspective of level two um, it's actually a very nice set it gives you a pretty massive amount of cold damage it gives you a pretty massive amount of life it gives you some increased attack speed some magic find it gives you a pretty massive amount of defense for this level which is uh, which is fairly nice and it also gives you a pretty massive amount of attack rating in the form of a an attack rating bonus and flat attack rating so, uh, so all in all, level two, Arctic Fur is absolutely an amazing set, um, if you can equip it, which is uh, probably its only main caveat. Now, we're going to upgrade this set uh, piece by piece, and uh, and then I, I'm actually going to have to throw this on another character, because uh, this character I don't think is going to be able to put this on. So uh, Arctic Horn Short Warbow is going to go from 9 to, 20, to 21, fast attack speed, 55 dex, 35 strength, level two. Two. 21 to 52, 103 dex, level 73, uh, sorry, strength of 73 with a requirement of 25. Not the greatest requirement there. Um, the strength went way up, the dex went way up, and the level requirement didn't go like super high. But we're going to take a look at this on another character in just a minute, and we'll get a, a better idea of, uh, of what this is going for. All right, so here we are over on the other character, and, uh, and the level requirement did go up from uh, 25 to 30 uh, when we put it on. So the green bonuses are increasing the level, just like on the previous sets. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the gloves next. So they're going to go from 11 defense, 45 strength, level 2. And we're going to need shale, tal, perfect diamond. To uh, 45 defense, nice bump in the defense there. Uh, 88 strength, level 30, not exactly a terrible upgrade. Um, not exactly the best gloves in the world, but uh, but not a terrible upgrade. Um, we also have Arctic Binding Light Belt, which is 33 defense. No strength or dex requirement, level 2. And of course, we only have four potion slots. To a uh, shark skin belt of 62 defense, 12 potion slots, beautiful, beautiful 12 potion slots. Uh, we also get 20 strength requirement and level 30, uh, which is uh, which is not mad to be honest. Um, 
that's actually a pretty decent upgrade, uh, especially if you were only using the Arctic Bindings. A Shale and a Tal would be pretty easy to come by. It has 40% cold resistance on it and pretty nice defense. And quite honestly, that's, that's just a pretty solid little upgrade for a low-level belt. I'd rather be upgrading a Death Sash, but if I didn't have a Death Sash, um, Arctic Bindings might be a pretty good choice. I actually usually find Arctic Bindings on my Solo Cell founts, like almost always. I actually almost usually always find Arctic Furs as well. Um, and speaking of Arctic Furs, let's see how Arctic Furs upgrades. So we have uh, 51 defense, 325% uh, enhanced, uh, level 2 with 12 strength. And that's going to go to the, of course, quilted to the Ghost Armor, which is 476, 38 strength, level 22. And of course, when we put it on, we go up to 731, which is not bad. Uh, level 22 goes to level 27 when equipped with the green bonuses. Pretty huge defense bonus upgrade. Um, quite honestly, that's massive. Um, granted, the um, 255 defense is coming from the character level, uh, which is not going to be exactly 255 at level 27. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit lower, but that's a really nice upgrade for one tier. The belt is a really nice upgrade for one tier as well. And, uh, and if you were rocking this for the magic find, I could totally see using uh, this belt and this armor, maybe throw a P Topaz in there, and you've got, uh, what, 40%, 50, 60, 74%. So 74% magic find right there between the two pieces uh, with, some, uh, with some halfway decent effects too. I mean, you're also going to be rocking that, that uh, plus five to strength and, uh, and the defense based on character level. So interesting. Um, you also gain the all resistances 10 from the armor too, so not a bad combo there. Um, so we're going to upgrade these one more time, and, uh, and we're going to get an idea of what they would be if they were elitified. So uh, the Arctic Horn Rune Bow is going to transmute with a uh, Paul, a Lum, and a Perfect Emerald. And that is going to go to a, uh, what is that, um, Ward Bow, I think? So uh, 21 to 52, 103 strength, 70 sorry, 103 dex, 73 strength, level 25, to uh, 30 to 79 damage, not very good, uh, 146 dexterity, 72 strength, level 60. Uh, we need a little bit more dexterity, I see. Oops. <laughs> So, very, very poor upgrade on the third tier. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to do that for the third tier. It might make a halfway decent second tier upgrade if you just didn't have anything better at that particular point, but uh, but I can't really see it. Uh, the bow itself just doesn't have enough on it, doesn't have enough going for it. Um, the only thing that I can think of that this bow might be decent for because of the massive attack rating bonus um, the 20% attack rating bonus on the item, uh, both of which combined together to kind of make for a very interesting um, option if you were going to be doing a uh, elemental damage build. So, like, for instance, if I was, like, a low-level Holy Freeze Paladin or something, and I just wanted a bow that would uh, apply my elemental damage, or maybe I was a low-level Enchant Sorceress, um, it could be interesting to utilize this set simply for the massive attack rating bonus. As you can see, I'm rocking 1,800 attack rating right now. Uh, with this set, which uh, which is certainly pretty high, but for level 72, it's not high enough. Um, let's upgrade the uh, the Arctic Mitts Battle Gauntlets uh, next. So they're going to be upgraded from the uh, Battle Gauntlets, I believe, to the Crusader Gauntlets. Uh, so 45 defense, 88 strength, and level 25 to uh, 151 strength, ooh, 68 defense, level 57. Not exactly a good upgrade there. Um, I feel like that was a really, really poor upgrade, and I probably would never do that, ever. And of course, they go from 57 to 69 when you put them on. Uh, we also have the Arctic Binding Shark Skin Belt, which is uh, going to upgrade as well. Uh, this is going to go from 62 defense, 20 strength, level 25, to 88 defense, uh, 50 strength, level 63. Not exactly a terrible upgrade, but there's no real reason to do that. The defense um, is the only thing really going up here for relatively mediocre, a relatively mediocre amount of defense at that. Um, the strength and, uh, and level requirement went up really high for essentially what was that like a tiny bit of extra defense. 
Um, not exactly worth it. Uh, the one tier upgrade I think is worth it just to get those belt slots and utilize the magic vine, but the second tier upgrade, not worth the lemon, the co that you would spend. Uh, Arctic Furs is going to be interesting because this one is going to upgrade really high with uh, with the 325% enhanced on here. Uh, when we upgrade this, this is of course going to go to the highest tier um, quilted armor, which is the, um, what is that? The uh, Let's just find out, shall we? So 476 defense, uh, 38 strength, level 22, to the Dusk Shroud with 1,704 defense, uh, level 77 requirement, or sorry, level 77 Level 49 requirement, 77 strength requirement, and uh, and when we put it on with the green bonus goes to level 61 from 49. Level 49 armor with 1,704 defense is kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. If I was a low-level character and I happened to have those runes, that might actually be a pretty solid upgrade for low tier. Um... <laughs> and when I put it on, uh, it goes to 1,959 defense. Holy crud. Uh, definitely some very interesting interactions here between upgrading the Arctic Furs. Um, this just goes to show you that when you have a percentage-based defense as opposed to a regular defense, it can come in really handy for upgrading items. And in this particular situation, we are looking at just some pretty massive <laughs> defense on this thing. Sorry, I don't really mean to cough into the camera. I'm kind of surprised at the defense numbers on this. That's uh, that's just a massive defense bump uh, for the, the final tier. Um, so we need to think about this in a very interesting way, which is budget equipment, right? What did I say... Um, earlier in this video. I said, Arctic Furs drops all the time. I usually find a set of Arctic Furs on every single playthrough. If you can upgrade Arctic Furs to have a massive defense bonus like this relatively easily, um, you could utilize this on a mercenary to help keep him alive early game. Um, Arctic Furs upgraded one tier was still pretty nice defense. And Arctic Furs upgraded to its second tier is massive defense. 1,959 is rivaling things like a freaking uh, stone, a, yeah, a stone rune word. Uh, granted, it doesn't has to have the same utility as a stone rune word, but you know what you could do is you could take a shale rune, you could throw a shale rune in here, and uh, and you could give it faster hit recovery. Uh, upgrade it one tier, or sorry, yeah, one tier at the very least. Throw a shale rune in it, and then you would have a uh, a relatively nice armor for a mercenary that could uh, hold him until you get something better. Um, it would give him fast hit recovery, and the defense would be pretty massive. I could have sworn I had a shale rune in here, but I guess I guess I don't have a shale rune. Well, fooey patooey. Kind of blown away by the defense on that. I mean, granted, it's not defense isn't the best stat, right? Defense isn't the most amazing stat in the game, but when your mercenary has a massive amount of defense on level... For his character, it can it can keep him alive. It really can. Um, if I were to take this set out and just like play around with it, it the monsters wouldn't even be touching me with 2,155 defense. And if you're rocking this on somebody just for the defense, I mean, even if you weren't using the full set, you can literally just rock two pieces of this. Uh, the Arctic Furs and the Belt. You would upgrade the Belt one tier, of course, to get the max potion slots. Throw the uh, Arctic Furs at least one tier up as well to get the defense bonus. You'd have the defense on character level on here as well. And uh, and you could be rocking some pretty nice defense as well as some decent magic find at a relatively low level. Uh, you're talking about like level 25, 30 uh, at for, for, what, 40% magic find? And uh, I think, what was it, like almost 800 defense? 800 defense at level uh, 30, I think, is like more than enough to protect your character from just about every melee and range attack that comes in. Well, an interesting surprise from the uh, set that almost makes you look like you're naked. And um, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when we're talking about low-level sets like this. And, uh, and as always, keep watching.